Warning, due to YouTube's content restrictions, you can see this video in full on our uncensorable Odyssey channel at video.freekeen.com. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. All right, let's get this thing started. Thank you for joining us today. My name is Derek Pru. I'm a former New Hampshire Army National Guard Sergeant. And uh, to get started, I'm going to go ahead and talk about uh, my experience in the Guard a little bit. Um, I was a uh, 13 Mike, which is rocket artillery here in New Hampshire. And, you know, I joined out of a sense of duty and service to my community. Um, I wanted to go around and help out plow snow or, or get cars out of uh, snow banks, uh, help with flooding, uh, that sort of thing. Uh, stay close to home and protect my community. And, you know, I also knew about, you know, possibly going overseas to go fight the bad guys. And uh, it really hit me when I read a story about a former airman, his name is Daniel Hale. And he was instrumental in leaking documents to The Intercept, which led to the drone papers. And in those documents, they discovered that 90% of drone strikes were not on the intended target. And so if they're not on the intended target, who are they hitting? And being artillery, we have to rely on the same intel that drone pilots are getting. And that hit me, you know, pretty deep right there. And uh, I started doing some more research into our involvements in the Middle East and, and prior conflicts. Um, really confusing how Al-Qaeda could be our enemies in Iraq and Afghanistan, but then our allies in Yemen and Syria and Libya. Uh, it didn't quite make sense, and it seems that uh, the politics and, and the wars and conflicts over in the Middle East were far more complicated than I had originally saw. And so from that, I found a gentleman, his name is Dan McKnight. He was a sergeant in the Idaho National Guard. And Dan McKnight, he started an organization called Bring Our Troops Home. And he started this organization after having experience in the Idaho Guard. He was a part of an engineer's unit and they had to drive from Idaho all the way to Louisiana to help with Hurricane Katrina relief efforts because the Louisiana National Guard was over in Iraq. And so he, he started thinking, why did we have to go across country why was Louisiana National Guard not at home doing the things that the Louisiana National Guard was supposed to be doing? Why were they in Iraq? And so he started Bring Our Troops Home, which then led into what we're going to talk about here today, which is Defend the Guard legislation. And Defend the Guard legislation passed at the state level will prevent a state's National Guard from being deployed to overseas conflicts unless Congress formally declares war as stated in the U.S. Constitution. The last time Congress formally declared war was World War II. However, who's going to tell people who fought in Korea or Vietnam or the Gulf Wars or Afghanistan or Iraq or Syria that they didn't fight in an actual war? It'd be absurd. And so Defend the Guard is really about bringing accountability back to DC and making those that we elected in Congress to sign their names on a piece of paper saying that they're willing to send soldiers to war. And that's, that's all it's about, just accountability and go, coming back to the Constitution. And uh, so we got a lineup of speakers here. Um, and up next, we're going to have Ben Weir. He's going to come and say a few words. What's up, guys? Uh, for anyone who doesn't know me, my name is Ben Weir. Um, I'm a former infantryman in the U.S. Army. Uh, I'm also a national organizer for the Veterans Caucus of the Libertarian Party. Um, I've been anti-war for a very, very long time. Uh, I want to bring our troops home. Uh, I'm kind of going to start off with a quote by James Madison, which says, the means of defense against foreign danger historically have become instruments of tyranny at home. How true is that? I mean, like, we're, we're here. I'm going to drop a couple truth bombs on you. 
Um, you know, we're, we're still at war with six different countries. In 2018, Freekeen teamed up with LBRY.com to back up our YouTube. Libraries already protected more than one video that YouTube took down. Now, in 2021, our YouTube's been given a ridiculous strike for a 15-second promo from 2011 for harmful or dangerous content. Library doesn't have strikes or any way to take down videos. Our days are numbered on YouTube. Get the app at lbry.com or follow our channel on Library's new platform, Odyssey, at video.freekeen.com.